Okay, I think everything's working now. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Um, oh, the stream title is correct with my name. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Layla. I'm a 3D character artist. I'm also streams here. I've had some technical difficulties, as always. As it goes. But yeah. I am... <clears throat> Thank you for sharing. Uh, you're welcome. Hello, hello JMac Maker. Wow, 40 people already. Welcome everyone. Today we'll be working on a character that I started last year during Christmas break or Christmas period. And I never got to finish um, purely because life. So I was just thinking that it's too cool of a character not to finish him. Finish her. So, I'll share this concept on from the screen now. So this is the concept. It's by, oh my god, it's blinding. It's by Christina Gomez. She's really, really good. You can go follow her on Instagram if you want. But yeah, I thought that we might work on some hair, um, maybe some detailing. Posing, if it gets to it, I already see like lots of things that I would like to change from last year. Just things that I've never noticed. Um, yeah. Oh, this is cute. Things. Um, knife incident. You guys are so creative with your nicknames. Uh, Vladimir, thing. Hello, hello. Anthony Scarcelli. Hey Layla, looks like a fun festive sculpt. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to Christina Gomez. That's her name, I believe. But also, yeah, I found it last year. Fell in love with it. Really like the pose and the expression. So I opened her mouth, but I never went any further than that. Maybe I, I think I raised her eyebrow slightly. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'll try to bring in the reference into ZBrush. Add the one. Let me know if you can hear me well, by the way, versus the music. Eddie is saying hi. Hello, hello. Also, a disclaimer, um, today, due to, like, personal reasons, I will only be able to scope for an hour and a half. But I think it will be enough to do some, to make some progress. So, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Now, what? Is it that I would like to change? Let's turn over here so I can see it more clearly. Actually, we'll delete stuff that we don't need. As always, I'm just unbeatable when it comes to naming stuff, as you can see. Okay, so I'm actually not too unhappy with her proportions. Just think that they could be improved a little bit. I do like how flat her face looks from the profile. However, hmm.
When did you start to learn ZBrush? Was it at a school or so? I believe ZBrush in particular was at my art college, yes, in 2018. That's when I first opened ZBrush. Happy partner anniversary. Uh, what does that mean? Partner? Anniversary? It's a Twitch thing. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. I'm a cave woman and I don't know how to use Twitch. But met quite behind on all of those trends. Giving her some more permanent nostrils, because it does matter. I do quite like what's going on with like the shape language here. I, think I did an okay job at it last year. The harps, they could be even more permanent. Oh, Miss Layla, what a surprise. Hey, Akin. Yeah, it was a surprise for me as well. Um, when I discovered last night that I wasn't on the calendar, even though I was supposed to be because I booked it. Um, so yeah, if anyone was checking out the calendar for the month, you wouldn't see me there. Might have been like just an overlook by the development team. By the management team, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I decided to stream either way. You know, why not? With ZBrush, probably. Ah, uh, is it? No, I'm pretty sure I started celebrating. Uh, I started sculpting for ZBrush in November last year. Um, yeah, around the time. Although it doesn't make much sense to me even lower. Woo woo, Layla stream. Hello, Skull Reaper. Hey, were you still thinking of doing the Sculpt Challenge with stream? Sculpt Challenge with stream. Uh, which one was it? Can you, do you mind reminding me? I don't quite recall what I promised. Sorry for my poor English grammar. It's okay, I can. It's fine. I, I can understand you perfectly well. Mm. Oh, if you didn't know, also, this topology could use some improvement. If you didn't know, by holding down shift, you smooth the stuff on the canvas, right? But if you let go of the shift, it actually performs a different action, which is kind of like relaxing the area instead of smoothing it. So start to smooth with the shift down, then I let go of the shift, and it kind of like relaxes the area, which is sort of what I need.
in the last stream in the end you were thinking you might have given us some prompts you mentioned the winter which would be cool um i think i mentioned scooptober right with the prompts for 30 days you pick up the prompt list and you scoped did i say about giving you prompts uh i don't quite remember Yeah, sorry guys. Um, I have a goldfish memory. <laughs> and I wasn't even sure if I was going to stream today or not. Mm. Yeah, if you feel like you won a challenge, a festive one that is, I would suggest going on either Art Station or Instagram. And in Instagram, I would type in draw it in your style or D T I Y S, which is like a short version of the hashtag that all the 2D artists use. And especially during December month, everyone's drawing Christmas themed stuff. So I can almost guarantee you that you will find like a snowy witch of some sorts there and this artwork actually was from draw it in your style as well last year that's how i found it just by typing in the hashtag and just exploring the page and then art station i also like type in christmas or santa stuff like that and then i sort artworks by relevancy or likes and then i look for stuff that i like these are the two ways you can find the concept that you would love. You know, because I wouldn't feel quite right to force a concept on someone. What if you guys don't like it? Everyone has their own tastes, right? That's one long neck. To be honest, she does have a rather long neck. Um, maybe I should cheat it. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like with the hair on. And it doesn't look too bad, but still such a long neck. So in this case, what we could do... Select Lasso. Put it somewhere here. Now, what do we need to bring down with us? Um, reckon all of this. Not this. Let's mask it. Uh, teeth as well. Hat as well. Not these guys. Oh. Now when we pull it down, it should pull all of the subtools together that were unmasked. So this button just ticks all of the subtools visible. Basically affecting all of them at once. Okay. So this is a little bit better.
Oh well, thank you. Miss Lele, I have 12 gigabytes speed and FME e SSD, but I but and I have huge brush and alpha library and my brushes are loading so slow. Are you experiencing this? Slow loading brushes. In ZBrush. Hmm. What do you mean by what is N of me E? Maybe the chat could help you. I'm not very well versed when it comes to computer parts. I just have a very decent build that works for um, ZBrush and all the other 3D software that I have. Um, huge brush library. How big are we talking? Like, I have quite a few custom brushes. Maybe like 10 or so. But do you really need to load up all the brushes with alphas every time you sculpt? Can you load them up selectively? If that's the, if that's the issue. You can just take it away from the folder where all the brush presets are and like alpha presets. Maybe just add them for the project that you're working on. Hi Layla. Hi Warrior Maddie. Um, scroll reaper. Yeah, and we were talking about how December doesn't really have cool prompt challenges. And you were thinking of maybe making something up for the stream, haha. <laughs> but I'm busy today anyway, so it works out. Oh, good. Yeah, fish memory. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, Amy Patra. Hello, hello. Oh no, it's scary when you show base sculpt. Yeah, a little bit. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm 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 making a Bill Cipher versus my cartoon character Swift. Whoa. That sounds awesome. Are you making it in 3D? Hello beauty. Well hello. End of me E M2 SSD. Yay, it's this is yeah, it's SSD storage hardware for desktop. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure what kind of SSD I have. I do know that you need a decent amount of VRAM um, and just RAM to run ZBrush. So maybe like 16 is the bare minimum, maybe 32 would be better. Um, I think I have 32 RAM. Not sure about VRAM though. And I have a decent graphics card too. But again, not sure if it contributes to performance of ZBrush. I'm not really good at that stuff. Just every couple of years or so, I upgrade my PC when someone something breaks. And that's how I go. I'm about to make more of a triangular shaped nose for her. I'm actually liking it. It moves it a bit away from the concept art, but to be honest, it's just one solid color blob over here. There aren't a lot of definitions in terms of shape, so I feel like I can take some creative liberties with it.
Now, what has been bothering for a while was her hair. That could use some improvement. Well, I see your RAM has increased to 24 or 32. Um, like RAM RAM, I think it's 32. Yeah. Okay, I see what's going on here. Let's split them. Maybe we could keep them separate in the same sub tool. Turn on groups and dynamesh. So the dynamesh will respect the groups and it will not blend them. Which can be useful for some cases, like this one. Where I don't want to create a separate sub tool. But I want to keep the two geometries separate. Also, I've been meaning to add some, whatchamacallum, like, like, partitions. Easier way to do that would be to use booleans. Ah, uh, I see why. Okay. Delete hidden. I was I had like a solid geometry. Let's bring it back. Now I can do on the cube. Let's go to initialize Q cube, which will set it to like the minimal resolution that you select here. Basically just a cleaner version of the cube that comes by default. Now, using this diamond shape, what we could do is I could cut her hair. So let's just keep these two subtools active and turn on Boolean. Nothing happens now. But if we do this, kind of like cuts in to the mesh. Let's do it hidden. Yeah, here you go. Now we can scale it and move it.
This I like, can I change solid color textures to hyper realistic materials? Uh, where and how? Mm. Uh, materials are their own thing. Textures are part of the material usually. If you're talking about procedural materials, then they might not have textures, but it's a whole other topic. Um, you can't change textures to materials. You create textures for the character and then you create a material for the character, utilizing those textures. I hope that makes sense. Make sure the dynamic subdivision is off. I can every so now and often I accidentally turn it on and it makes my brush la lag a lot. Yeah, that's very true. I always try to keep dynamic subdiv off when I can, when I'm working on the mesh. If I just want to preview it nice and smooth, then I can turn it on. Okay, now let's move it again, make it a bit shorter. By the way, if you hit Shift F on the keyboard, you'll be able to kind of preview where it is. Um, not where it is, but like what the geometry looks like. Okay, and one more cut here. Wider. Something like that. Now we can go and say make Boolean mesh. And now you can append it. Okay. So it did an okay job. What we could do. Let's cut it off here. Cut it off there. Group by normals. Let's delete this back side piece. Now we're left with what we needed. So we can now turn these off, turn this off. Maybe turn her back, her hair back on. And see what's going on here. Okay. I will try when I pass surgery. Okay. Good luck with the surgery. Yeah, good luck. Um, hi. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Don't quite like what happened here. 
I'm gonna. Come on. Come on. I'm holding down Alt and with this feature called Q Mesh. By holding down Alt, you create a different poly group for all the polys that you click on. We cleaned it up. Now we can add one loop going around it. And let's go to keep groups, something like that. Not too bad. This is better. Now we can just wait for ZBrush to finish saving, then Q mesh or polygons like so. Do you have Discord? I do and I don't use it. Do you watch anime? Yes, I do. Of course. What about me gives away that I watch anime? Do you guys watch any?
bring the fringe a little bit to the front <clears throat> from the side view just to create more of a visual interest and breakup. So what anime you recently watched? Uh, yeah, I actually just started a very interesting one called Banana Fish, which is not quite your average like shonen shonen anime. Um, it has two male protagonists, however, it deals with quite heavy topics. that I might not name on stream. Um, but yeah, it's got really good mystery, good character development. Um, do read the warnings prior to watching it, if you're interested. It's about this like rich organization that is, I think, ever smuggling or creating this drug that they're testing on soldiers. Um, when the soldiers are going kind of like nuts after taking it. And one of the main, well, the main protagonist's brother gets affected by it. So the main protagonist is out to find out who's responsible kind of thing. Lots of like action scenes and fighting. Really cool. Eyebrow. What about eyebrow? Is that the name of the anime? Oh, you just want her eyebrows to be back. Here you go. Yeah, always. That's my second thing for entertainment after game. Cool, what do you watch? Don't spoil, just give a brief. Yeah, that's that's the brief. That's what happens in the first episode. That's it. Which anime? It was Banana Fish. Banana Fish. I'm spending too much time on this here, so I'm just gonna move on. Let's turn everything back on. Turn the colors back on. By the way, if you didn't know, control shift clicking on the colors will turn all of them back on. Same goes for the eye icon. It will turn all of the subtools back on so you don't have to manually set them. Do each one. Let's pick the color from here. Delete the previous one. Delete. This one, give this one color, give this one color, awesome. So the fringe is looking more polished now. What else can we do? I still feel like the max should be thinner. Ooh, what happened here? And when did it happen?
Okay, so I did it last year at some point, didn't I? Okay, well, that wasn't planned, but we can fix it. Let's go up a level. Let's relax it. Must have painted the mask of some sorts. And then dragged it with this area as well. Gonna be covered by clothing anyway, but yeah. Okay. Weird. Right now, not watching that much anime, just reading light novels. Fair enough. And manga. Yeah. Novels are great. Um, I've been actually playing through one, like a visual novel, on Switch. But I'm pretty sure it's um, on PC as well. It's about like, murder mystery kind of thing. And paranormal activities. You're basically like playing as six or seven main characters and you're playing through different storylines, trying to uncover mystery of what's going on. Not gonna spoil much, but yeah. Really good stuff. It was produced by Square Enix as well. If you guys are interested, it's called Paranorma Site. Okay, let's do that. Usually I'm not a huge fan of using Sculptures Pro, purely because of how many awkward situations I've been with it. Sometimes it just works. Here is like the trickiest part because I kind of want to pose the character first in this case and then sculpt the hair. Then posing it's a whole other thing. Just trying to match the flow how the hair is going on the concept. Let's increase the divisions on the body. Also, I can see that there, um, there's like an opening for the ear. So let's try and do that. too much. Let's say it should be around here. And delete that. Hmm. Here. Okay, basically what we need to do is go to masking, border, we mask the border and in deformation we're going to polish it, maybe polish by groups, 
awesome and in z modeler let's try to connect the tools with the bridge two holes right and it works what do you know Now we can bring this one down, move it out, Привет, привет, Эля. Um, so you like mysteries, genre, gen, genre? Yes, I do. That's why I like short hair girls. Short hairs girls because of the mystery genre. Me too. Okay. Or is it because of like all of this struggle to sculpt the long hair? Short hair might be easier to sculpt, but what's the fun of it? statistically women wear long hairstyles more than short hairstyles might be wrong on that but at least in New Zealand I can say that's the trend that I'm seeing Okay, not bad. Also, did I <laughs> delete that part of the hair by accident? Yeah, this one. Okay. Delete hidden. Always remember to check your model from all angles and from the bottom sometimes can be helpful. That model, glad to be here watching this live stream for the second time. Welcome, Shira. And that's because long-haired girls never listen. Listen to what? I have long hair. I listen. Trust me, I'll let you see that I'm so sure. 
wonder if we should tuck here behind this ear on the side. Like so. Yeah. yeah, that's not too bad. Just to add some asymmetry. Use snake hook. Do some stuff here. questions in the chat if you ever have a question about what I'm doing on screen please just ask in the chat I'll do my best to answer it time consuming but it usually comes with a huge payoff if you did spend quite a bit of time on it so right now I'm just adding a little bit more resolution by scaling down the size of the brush so you see if I go like this it would be giant triangles I go like this small triangles let's save Ah, uh, never listen to anyone because long hair covers ears. Oh, well, just that's just not true. Girls do listen. I do use my long hair as a scarf though during winter months. Keeps my ears warm. Pink chilling. Hmm. Have I been chilling? Yeah, I guess. How long did it take you to feel comfortable using ZBrush? Chris Jenkins is asking. 
it's a software that's always been quite intimidating to me. Um, to get comfortable, around a year or two. Like in my first year of using ZBrush, I didn't use it re religiously, so don't quite count it. So maybe if I were to use it like on day-to-day -day basis, that would have been around a year. To like know where all the buttons are, to create my own custom menu. That would brought me a lot of comfort for sure. Uh, knowing that I have this menu, but in order to get this menu, you should kind of like know what all of those buttons do and where they are. Also, you might not need all of those buttons. You might not need, like, you might not use all of them. Just, I do. There are so many different ways an artist can sculpt and ZBrush. That's why I go and check out streams of other artists here. Stop by and say hi and just absorb all of their knowledge. Just to see ZBrush from a different perspective. Because the way that they're using it is not the way that I am using it. That's for sure. Plus, there's so many things I still don't know. And with the, each new version coming up, it's so much to learn, so don't feel like you're alone. Everyone's learning ZBrush little by little. I missed the first 40 minutes of the stream, so I wanna... If you started with the base mesh already in ZBrush or a base mesh you made yourself... Um, so I didn't start her the stream. She's actually from last year's Christmas. Uh, you can go on the on the channel that you're watching it from. Just type in Leila Visku and you'll see all of my past streams and just scroll back to December 2022. And you'll be able to see her full progress from start to finish. I don't believe I started with the base mesh. I think it was a block out from a sphere. But yeah. You can check it out there. Yeah, no way I could pull off something like this in just, what, an hour? One hour? Yeah, that's just... I don't know who you have to be to do something like this in an hour. To make something like this in an hour. Okay. I'll add some loose strands that she has on the sides as the last thing. Let's break up the hair, shall we? Yeah, always learning, right? Thanks for the answer. You're welcome. Always learning indeed. You also do hard surface and ZBrush. For the amount of hard surface that I need to do for characters and stuff, yes, I do. I personally do not model cars or buildings or any like mechanical parts. 
just because it's not my passion. But when a character's got a gun, or some sort of prop, or maybe some metallic parts um, that are considered hard surface, then yes, I make them inside of ZBrush. Okay. Last time we discussed the nominees, potential nominees for Game of the Year. Has it come out yet? Like, do we know who has been nominated for the Game of the Year? Do you guys know? Because I haven't been following this whole thing religiously. But I do know who my guesses would be. It'd be Baldur's Gate. And well, as much as I would want it to be Tears of the Kingdom, I guess it can't be because it's only for one console. And yeah. Kind of like a sequel. Yeah, I don't know. I heard that the Spider-Man game that came out this year was good. It was basically just either re a retelling of a movie or just like watching a movie, something like that. Um, thanks. When you were new to ZBrush, did you often practice with the base mesh already provided from ZBrush where you created your own mesh? Yeah, personally, I've never almost never ever used base meshes. Not to say that it's bad, I just really liked practicing blockouts for stylized 3D characters because it's my passion. However, go with what feels right, right? If you're sculpting stylized characters with like very exaggerated proportions, I would advise looking into 3D blockouts Mm, which basically means that you block out the character from primitives, like spheres, cubes, cylinders, etc. If you're making more of realistic characters, it's also a good practice to do some echo shades, maybe some anat anatomy studies, study some 3D scans. There are $10 3D scans out there, if you are willing to look for it on the internet can be a good way to learn some anatomy. But yeah, personally, almost never use base meshes. Unless it's a challenge and I'm timed. Which happened a few times. Like, when ZBrush scooped off. I think I used the base mesh just to save some time because you only were given three hours to complete the sculpt. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so this area is currently a bit too busy for my liking. Yeah, I know. All this work. Busy, I mean, when I look at it. just too much. My eyes are overwhelmed. So 
on the good model, you would have areas of rest and areas of interest. And I think I'm gonna make this an area of rest because there's quite a bit of detail here and detail here. But if I add more detail in here, it will be like all blended in, you know? Like one of those pictures, you know, like those cartoon books, kid books, where you have to find a character in like this whole mess of a town or like where there are thousands of characters in like a very busy town and you have to spot them. Yeah, so it's really hard to focus your attention on one particular thing and like actually analyze the sculpt where everything is highly detailed. I hope that makes sense. I get some sculpts for feedback every now and again. And that's the thing that I see a lot. Just details everywhere. Okay, that feels better. Not too bad. Voting is open still. Uh, Baldur's Gate will likely win. That's fair enough. They did a good job. Um, someone's messaging in another language, but I can't read it, sorry. Nominees are Spider-Man 2, Baldur's Gate, Alan Wake 2, um, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Super Mario Bros, Wonder, The Legend of Zelda. I don't know what Wonder is. Or is it part of the Super Mario Bros Wonder? Okay. I think it should be Spider-Man 2. Oh, really? Okay. Why do you think so? I would vote for Zelda, and second pick would be Baldur's Gate. Are you allowed to vote? Like, do you have to be registered or, like, selected to vote? Or can anyone basically vote? Because if it's an open vote, then I'll go and... I'll do my part after the stream. I'm a huge Spidey fan. That says it. Okay. I see. <laughs> Guess that makes sense. I'm a huge Zelda fan.
Okay, we sort of have 15 minutes left. Just because, as I said, the stream is going to be slightly shorter. So what should we do? The basic hair blackout is there. She is missing her earrings, however. Also, just noticed this thing is sticking out too much. What is that challenging to have a block out every bit from scratch as a beginner? I'm having a little bit of difficulty blocking out my own base mesh from a sphere. Um, was Is that a question? Was it challenging? At first, sure, but then came more of like a second nature. To just drop a sphere, drop another sphere, move it forward. Now we have like two planes, like the lower plane of the head, the upper one. Then the neck is a cylinder or another sphere just stretched out. I don't know, it just changes the way you think, I guess, in a good way. I want to make it slightly bigger, you yeah. know. And taller. Not because it's how it is in the concept, it's not. Just like it that way. Oh. Also, these things, oh my god. They could do with some polish. Also, she's got like huge hands that I need to work on. Having a bit of difficulty with blocking out is fine. It's totally fine. Everyone goes through it. There are some like actual tutorials on how to block out. I would recommend checking out Polygon, like Polygon but with an F. I've got a couple of his brushes that I use a lot for stylized sculpts. Um, Poly here in particular is the one that I use the most. He's just a really cool dude. And he's got lots of streams dedicated to Making stylized characters from block out to finish. That's how I learned. What are we going to do? She needs to be posed, for sure. Do we have enough time? Probably not.
Baldur's Gate, endless scenarios, Spider-Man 2's insane technical feats with the city data stuff they're doing with Houdini. Both have insane graphics, but replay value, I'd say.